What's up guys, my name is Firestorm and uh, this is quite a late tutorial and I could have made a preview last week but oh well. This time we're going to be talking about Third Eye from Persona 5 and it's uh, it's a pretty interesting ability. It allows the player to, uh, to see things that they normally wouldn't be able to see such as uh, hidden treasures and traps. However, yes those are the things that we're going to highlight in this tutorial. However, there are some things that I'm not going to be highlighting in this tutorial such as enemy difficulty Due to apparently you can, depending on the color of aura they have around them in Persona 5, you can see how difficult enemies are. I'm not going to do that, because I didn't realize that was a thing until now. Anyways, let's get started. I think it's fair to start off with the easiest thing, so let's get on to it. We have this event here, who I didn't give a name for, I have no idea why. We're going to have this switch, we, we're going to call it Trap Card. Now if it's not on, then we can safely turn it on, because you can't really turn on a switch that's already on. That'd be repetitive. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn on the switch and then we're gonna tint the screen a bit so that it is clear to the player that you're entering third eye mode. Once that happens, we're gonna reduce the player's speed by one using set movement route for the player. Now what's important here is that when you use third eye, you're not gonna really have any downside to not having or to having it on all the time. But then the player could basically, you know, again, use it forever. And then it'll just, there's no reason for the player to ever turn it back. So we're going to give them a reason to, by reducing their speed. You can also make it so... I'm not actually sure if this is actually a thing. There's no... Yeah, I don't think so. I was going to say something like, Oh, let's disable... Uh, let's disable dashing, but I don't... I don't yeah, you might have to use a script for that. Or I just forgot. But yeah, we're going to reduce their speed. Because again, we want there be to be a drawback. Now, if we also... If we touch this event one more time, we're going to reset all this. Turn the tint to normal, turn the switch off, and send the player's speed back to 4. Alright, now we get into the real bulk of things. This is just our third eye turning switch. But anyways, we have here three examples of things third eye could affect. Hidden items, traps, and secret doors. Secret doors being the one I just made up, I'm not sure if they had that in Persona 5. Now, they're basically all going to be the same thing. But we're gonna start with the hidden items first. So for this first page, we're gonna have no switch attached to it, and we're gonna have this plain event. And since this is on an object, we're gonna set the priority same as characters. These ones aren't attached to objects, so we can set those to below characters. And it's gonna trigger the action, trigger with the action button. And then when it's all over, it's gonna control self switch A, and then it'll just go straight to this page. However, if third eye is on, we want there to be some kind of visual indicator. That way players can actually, well, see the thing, which is what third eye is for. Which, which is also going to do the same thing and turn on soul switch A and bring it back to this page. Same thing, actually not, not really the same thing for the traps and the secret doors. Let's go over the traps first. All this is going to do, transfer the player back to the very bottom of the map. The switch is on, there'll be some kind of visual indicator, and also bring you to the bottom of the map. The door one's interesting though. It should be kept in mind that the priority and trigger should be basically the same, except for maybe these hidden items here. So we have this switch that's only gonna be it's gonna be turned on. When this is turned on, you're gonna be able to see the door, and entering it will get you somewhere up here. You can just copy and paste this to this event page here without a switch. When the switch is not turned on, you'll not be able to see anything. However, having the same priority and trigger which, which mean, will mean that you'll be able to trigger it either way. Alright, time for a fairly long demonstration. Alright, so we have our activated event here. Or we, we don't have to activate it yet. Because we're going to demonstrate that this here is a trap. Traps will send you all the way to the beginning of the map. There's a hidden item in one of these, I think it's this one. And this basically is just to show you that all these things are activatable even without third eye. And yes, there's a hidden trap there that I didn't show off in the tutorial just for the sake of this demonstration. Now once we activate this, we can see basically everything. We move very slow, but everything should still function, such as that item there. And this item too. This door is still open, but 
that's just like I didn't bother to reset it. And you can see that this trap is also here. And yeah, basically it. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider dual slashing that subscribe button and setting ablaze that like button. I think I switched those again. Please consider dual slashing that like button and setting ablaze that subscribe button. I think that's probably it. Next time, uh, next time's gonna be hopefully doable because this is an idea that, that seems like it, it could be more helpful than most of these tutorials, even though I'm just making these tutorials in case anyone needs help with any of them. And as always, I'll be able to answer it. I'll hopefully be able, I'll hopefully try to answer any questions. Cause that's what these tutorials are basically here for. Helping others. So yeah, see you guys, stay safe.